Okay, here's a little uneducated education about some fun stuff I'm learning about ocean food. So these are sea urchins. They grow all over the world, all different types. They're a giant bastard. They hurt when you run into them. They poke in through your wetsuit and into your skin. They break off under your skin. Uh, they're invasive, so they're growing all over. They're having a problem, they eat the kelp, which is really important to the ecosystem in the ocean. So I decided it's my job to eat them back. Uh, I've eaten the row inside I posted once and had no idea what it was. I went out and learned some fun stuff. So after watching a couple of YouTube videos, I now see myself as the expert in the field and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff I found out. This is the mouth that grabs onto rocks and eats, sounds like everything. Um, these are spinies, they move around, suction to the rock. Stop predators, uh, obviously not predators as dangerous as I am because I won this fight and I'm gonna win it every time. And those of you who haven't found out yet, I like eating weird stuff out of the ocean. I like finding things that uh, aren't commonly known as food eating them, finding out if I get sick or not. I usually don't. And then I want to go find out how to make them delicious. You can see his legs moving around here pretty active now. He doesn't like that I'm cutting his teeth hole out. Okay. So these are the teeth inside of it. Um, that's inside. This is what faces the outside. These are pretty gnarly. It looks like something out of Stranger Things. Look at those bad boys. They're just like sharp teeth. Like I said, I think it sounds like they eat pretty much anything small enough that they can grab onto in the ocean. I don't know what you would do with those. I'd probably gonna make a sweet necklace. It's the inside, which I poured some of the juice out. It's just kind of black gunk and the grub. So, this is the good part. Um, the black gunk in there, it sounds like it's guts. Most of it's hollow. Um, but this part is, yeah, I've heard it called the, the roe, the gonads. What it's known for in the gourmet world is uni. Sounds like it's popular on sushi. Uh, I'm seeing it in rice bowls. You can cook it or eat it raw or let it dry. That's the good stuff. This is a big one. White juice on there is how you tell it's a male. I couldn't explain to you about where that came from, but that's what YouTube said. I'm gonna add a little uh, uni and semen. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty much, yeah, you don't have to do much to prepare them. I, mean, I don't like Dukes. You can, I'm not going to do it because that just creates dirty dishes. I like my seafood fresh out of the sea. So I'm gonna rinse these off a little bit and dry them. And I fresh homemade sushi inside. Let me grab that. Okay, so here's to the freshest uni sushi balls. I'm just gonna set that there and there. And there. A little of my personal favorite, Asian sauce. A dabble of soy sauce. And I love sea urchin and testicles. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like weird seafood? Huh? Do you like weird seafood? Find weird. Sea urchin? No. Hard pass. Okay, cool. More for me. <laughs>